When Rosie goes overseas, I like to tackle a project around the house that she wouldn't give me permission to do if she was here because she wouldn't like to spend the money and she doesn't like living in a construction zone. So, she's gone home to Ireland this morning. I dropped her at the airport around just before seven o'clock. She took off around 10 past nine. It's now half past three. She might be just about in Singapore now. And this is her walk-in wardrobe. I've actually been planning this in my head for about three years but because of COVID of course she couldn't go home therefore I never had the opportunity so when she said she was going home <laughs> the old brain started ticking over and now I'm uh, I'm living in a construction zone by myself for six weeks so, got to crack on with this. <clears throat> this is actually day three of the wardrobe build. Or, more to the point, day three of Rosie being away. Yesterday I didn't actually do any construction. I spent a lot of time um, thinking and planning and designing in my head and fretting to be honest because now that I've got it uh, stripped out I could see there's a lot of work to happen in it and I knew there was of course but the price of wood was a bit scary and I thought this damn thing's gonna cost a fortune and since she don't know about it, and I don't have permission to do it, spending a lot of money is probably not a good idea. So I thought about it and thought about it and came up with some options and ideas. And I was going around in circles and not really knowing whether I was Arthur or Martha. But anyway, in the end, I thought, bugger it, I've got to go to Bunnings and just buy some wood and get started so i bought some wood i'm gonna get started a little bit. I need to get rid of these bumps first. Um, I had an idea last night and I'm going to have a crack at laying it out like a template sort of thing but if this comes off this could be like the key pivotal design feature of this whole thing so I hope it works out on the floor as good as it looks in my head what I'm thinking of is a circular or a circular a circle basically a big tube 
in the corner with circular shelves that can rotate and I stick that in the corner of the room then everything else sort of hangs off it but that would be like a central focal point done a fair bit of work off camera uh, because I can make a lot more progress when I'm not worried about the camera <sighs> so um, I'll show you the rest of it later but this bit had me stumped for a while that's the bottom shelf of the rotating shelf thing this is the Lazy Susan. I got it all centered and everything and screwed down. But I need to screw this piece to the second half of the Lazy Susan. But how do you get a screwdriver in under there? So what I've come up with is Screw the Lazy Susan on here first using this pilot hole to get to the bottom bracket which you then rotate and screw in the next screw around like that and I've got this pilot hole then to flip that over and screw it on there <sighs> took me several days to figure that out thinking about it every now and again and it finally dawned on me in the shower last night so that's sorted the next thing to do is to make the shelves themselves and I'll show you my I've made the first one hello B I've made the first one I'll show it to you uh, to give you the, an idea of the theory but then I'm just gonna crack on and make the rest. So the central axis is 27 and a half mil uh, oak, Tasmanian oak, dowel, 2.4 meters long, which will be, need to be cut down. The first <laughs> shelf is, uh, I think it's 580 mils diameter. Um, MDF uh, then I turned a piece of hardwood to hold it in place and to make it look pretty that's on the bottom of underneath the shop None, neither of these are glued in at the moment they're just very friction fit onto the dowel uh, the dowel is supposed to be 27 and a half mils and the drill bit I used was 28 mils and still the dowel is really, really friction fit in there. So much so I thought maybe that hardwood might split open, but it didn't. I'll make a skin to put on the shelf, plywood skin. Make it just a little bit stronger, but make it pretty as well. And then I also thought I would make a smaller hardwood disc from the same wood to sit down on top of there make it all like a sandwich
Ah, splitting. But that's all right, it'll hold together, I think. screws in. that time of day I put it on upside down 
and getting it off ain't going to be easy. It was a long day, but I've got the last one on. Now I'm taking it upstairs. I'll fit it tomorrow, but I'm glad to get this. This was a major part of the project. Yeah.